In the woods today cooking with the thermos flask i think this is a, a one liter flask i can generally cook up to about three eggs in it i think any more than three you haven't got enough temperature within that water to uh, cook the eggs sufficiently but we're doing two today could do three a very efficient way of cooking when you're out in the woods like this and you maybe want to preserve your gas burner not uh, deplete it down too quickly it's a very good way of doing it because in the jet boil it's going to quickly get that water up to a hot temperature then if you want to maintain that temperature that every second you do that it's using gas this is a very efficient way of cooking just get the boiling water up to temperature put it in a flask you can cook eggs as in this case you can cook rice pasta uh, vegetables I actually use this a lot at home with my one-year-old son if he's eating and i'm not um pop two eggs in the flask, boil the kettle up, and it's a very efficient way of cooking, even in the house. And this could be an interesting method as energy security, energy supplies across Europe, across the West, become more irregular, more disrupted. Rolling blackouts could be a problem. They already are in certain parts of the world. If you know you're facing rolling blackouts, if you foresee a power cut come in, uh, you know, and you're at home and you think when in an hour they may, may turn the electricity off i don't know you can boil up some water have it in a flask and when you need it you can put whatever food you need to cook so it's a very efficient way of cooking very good for the outdoors also works very well on the in, uh, indoors as well obviously the cooking time is a bit slower um, so you pretty much i pretty much just double the cooking time so if you're looking at soft boiled eggs at home, I would boil up a pan of water, get it to boiling point and, or simmering point, and then put the eggs in and leave them in there for about four and a half minutes. That's roughly how I like my eggs. And I'll double that in the flask because it's not gonna be as hot. The cooking time will be a bit slower. It's looking about nine minutes. Um, same for rice, same for pasta. Just, um, just, just double, double, double the time. And it's as simple as that. And it gives you a bit of time to appreciate the outdoors and um, after about nine minutes, they should be ready to eat.
the eggs came out a little bit more hard boiled than I would have preferred. So rather than doubling the cooking time, it probably ended up being near triple. So the eggs were slightly harder than I would have preferred, but anything in the woods always tastes great. So that wasn't a problem. And the dog was very happy because he ate some too. So that's cooking in the thermos flask, a very efficient and easy way of cooking outdoors. And if we see disruptions to the grid in the future, it's just another backup way of being able to provide for yourself at home if your normal cooker, stove, um, microwave isn't working because the grid's down. You can get your little camping gas bottle out and your flask and still be able to cook up basics, rice, pasta, eggs, and it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Good luck and Godspeed, and I'll see you next time.